What is up Psychonauts and Cosmic Thoughts? It is Zaloon and I thought it would be fun today to go over a little more of the uh, the nitty gritty details that go into an art piece. Um, sort of the stuff that's running through my head. Even if you don't normally create art, I big time suggest that everybody, everybody can. And it's worth it, it's worth a shot. Uh, it's like everything, you know, you spend the first little bit falling over, but eventually you pick it up and it becomes fun and you get more interest in it. For art, uh, you know, if somebody, I've heard before friends like, oh, I'm not creative. And I'd say like, tip number one, everybody is creative. Uh, you know, I don't know what to draw. Well, I'm like, okay, uh, that phone, right? Right? Okay, there's your phone. How many eyes does that phone have, right? Does it have one, two, three? It has four. Okay, four is a creative number. Four eyes. And does it have legs? Does it have arms? Does it have duck feet? Does it have a hat, horns? Whatever. And you keep adding to it. What colors are those things? And suddenly, you've created your own, you know, your own thing. That's a creative, nobody else has thought to do it your way. It's such a unique form of self-expression. And even if it doesn't look good the first time, uh, you keep doing it and eventually like you'll make this new, uh, you'll do something that does look good. You'll draw a horn in a certain, in a new way and you'll go, oh my god, like, bruh, I just made this connection. It is so much fun. Like, ah, oh, you see yourself get a little bit further. It is so much fun. Anyways, let's go into uh, some eyes. So I was thinking we start out with eyes, right? Eyes are... I draw a lot of eyes. As you did kind of this half a circle, the size really doesn't matter, and you go up, around, and pull back. Up, around, and pull back. Fill in, fill in that little space you created. Do -do 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 -do. And then out of the center, you can kind of pull, and you kind of go back over shape, and you make that like a circle, or you could go hard. Up to you. Take your. Uh, it's gonna change the way the final product's gonna look. And then inside there, you know, you can throw your little eye and whatever else. All right. So it is me from the future, and I thought I'd uh, show some examples after each of these. Something I've like taken a little bit more uh, more time on. And you can kind of see I've continued that pattern around. I realize the spelling in the middle is a little bit a little bit dyslexic. Um, but you can kind of continue that pattern and see the loop and it drops down and around. Here is a, another example. So rather than going in a circle, kind of doing a little bit of a pyramid going up and out. Um, kind of like a totem pole thing. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, like you don't have to do the pattern. Uh, this one's just coming up out of the center. Um, this was like a while ago. I wouldn't do it the same now, but... That's kind of what, kind of what we're after. You'd have them looking one direction versus another. You move that around. So if it was like, let's see, boop and boop, you could have it, the black, the iris part of the eye, looking that way, and have them go over there. Or you could even connect it and have it go around and have the iris part. You could also do kind of the drop down, bring it around like that. You could even make it black, have it, and have it uh, kind of be coming from this direction, if that makes sense. And you could have, you know, same thing eye on the bottom, or you could have it coming up from from up there, from underneath. Gives it a very kind of like stoned, <laughs> stoned sort of vibe. And then you can give them eye bags. All right, this is a sketchbook I had from a couple years ago, but I think it it, it kind of demonstrates this, or it's got a lot of those sort of eyes in it. You kind of see that around there, and you can build up and up and around. Um, and uh, you got this dude. You can make it small, have a bottom part where it's going in or out, or like in and out. Uh, oop. Uh, or it's going over the top. I don't know how I made that, but it looks really cool. Um, you can do something, I don't know what I was on, <laughs> but it kind of looks like, you could turn that into a mask, easily. 
or you use it in this sort of way, create a little demon dude, but you know, each each way you do it is gonna give the eyes a different sort of vibe um, or feeling for the drawing. And the more you do it, the more you're gonna realize, okay, if you're gonna go for, I don't know if you can call that cute, but a cute or a stoned sort of look, whichever, um, and just figure out more and more ways to do it. Back to it. Actually adding the detail, normally, whatever the eye shape is, but you've got like the inside and then the outside. This is like outside stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if that's making sense for the inside the actual inside so whatever circle or outside you've got right now I kind of to do it one of two ways um either and I've been pulling I take a lot of inspiration from Aaron Brooks and um, Drew Brophy I love both of their styles okay so I thought I would go over uh, Aaron Brooks and Drew Brophy both of them are huge inspirations for me uh, they've got a bunch of incredible and really cool art. This is uh, Aaron Brooks and his sort of style is really cool, a really fun way of uh, going about it and you can definitely see the influence that it's had on me and just some incredible and really out there stuff. The Big Lebowski, the best movie. And then for uh, Drew Brophy, he is definitely like beach vibes, and that's not the artist, but still a kick-ass surfboard. Um, very, he does sacred geometry sort of stuff, very bright out there in your face. Um, maybe uh, in some later videos I'll shout out some more artists, but just, I mean, incredibly cool. Incredibly cool. Anyways, back to it. At the moment, those are two of my like favorites, and that's what I've been, uh, that's what I've been using a lot as as inspiration. Anyways, you got the inside of your eye, or the the iris part. You kind of do a circle, leave two other circles. Doesn't matter too much. You can kind of go in there and add a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of dots if you want to add some detail in there, and then you're gonna just pull a line. Normally, I go in, you know, uh, one forward, one backward, one side to one to the side, and then another one, boom, boom, booyah, <laughs> boosh. <laughs> so you have, you have them going in every direction, and then the job is just to fill in and try, like, it's always a challenge, challenge myself, like, how close can I get these, these lines to go together? And there you have your eye. You can go in and like either go from the edges and add uh, add more smaller smaller lines going in, do 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 do, or have them come out from the center. The other way that I really that I really dig doing it. This is more uh, Drew Brophy inspired, but can I do like a a little L, but not a straight edge, like a a, a rounded edge? There you go. And you do another one. And another one, and another one. Anyways, just go back for a second. This could go in there. See, so just just to kind of go back. You have a uh, actually maybe make it like that. Same thing down there, and have it go out. You you'd cut off that part. Don't have that part, obviously. But that's how you use that eye in that sort of situation. You could also have like, I mean, shit blocking the eye and have that come up out of there or make, you know, wh whatever you want. It's up to your imagination. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then for this, it's similar sort of, uh, you know, white in the center or a little, the light hitting it. I have not learned proper lighting yet when I, when I do, I'll explain it, but at least at least a little bit there. And then kind of dots around the edges of it as the detailing. And then uh, and then another little one going in there. Same thing, dots around the edge. Ba -do 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 -do. And you kind of follow that pattern for the entire thing around it, which which little white space needs one <laughs> to even everything out. You you kind of get a like a a feel for it. Um, and everybody's different, so it's part of, part of what makes it fun. You have that sort of shape, and then 
kind of like this one pull out from the center. You can do, do the little lines coming outside. Uh, you can have them get pretty close pulling off the sides. Um, uh, a lot really up to you, but that's that sort of style. All right, so here is one I've done. It doesn't have any color at the moment, but you can kind of see uh, a little more where the details go in. Got the same sort of eye on the other side. Pretty cool. And then we got this guy, similar sort of vibe. The eyes coming from underneath and, you know, I didn't go over it in this, but same sort of thing, uh, the outside of the eye. It's another another little way you can do it. Also have, I mean, the, uh, is real quickly, I won't do all the lines, but let's say that was your white spot. You have like two little ones, and then you give it the iris. You know, like the iris, if you look at a human normally, you can kind of see it like, it's not flat with the rest of the, uh, the eye. It kind of like bumps out a little bit. So you could have like an eye looking off in that direction. And then let's say you still wanted those circles, or the, the, like the inside of the eye, have it coming out like that. Over here you got the rest of it, whatever reason. Anyways, a nice little bit on eyes. All right, there we go. That is the eye tutorial. I uh, I personally love art tutorials. I find them really entertaining. If you guys liked it, it can definitely become a series on this channel. Go over uh, how to draw a moon or a sun or I was thinking a mouth, maybe a mouth the ex uh, for the next episode. How I do them, um, cause cause they're fun, cause they're cool. And uh, <laughs> as, uh, as always, music will be in the description, and Drew Brophy and Aaron Brooks, the boys, in the description, really cool stuff. If you liked this video, go hit the like button, uh, send some peace and love to that subscribe button, go comment, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.